Hello everybody, Apophy here, and welcome back to Banished. Today we are continuing from where we left off last week, and we are um, in the middle of winter, in the dead of winter. We are going to, uh, so if you remember from last week, and if you don't, I suppose, um, I took all of my farmers except for this guy, there's one guy left who's a farmer, um, and I don't know why to be honest with you, off of farming. Um, so for the winter, they are going to be out and they're going to be gathering all kinds of resources from over here and stuff like that um, and doing all of the sort of miscellaneous tasks that I have, excuse me, assigned them to do. Um, like, say, building the cemetery and uh, stuff like that. So we are actually, this is a really good uh, idea to do right now is to increase the priority on this cemetery so it gets done sooner. Um, so yeah, uh, we've got uh, all of our people doing that sort of stuff right now. These people are clearing way for the roads. Um, over here we have our, the sites for our new buildings that um, don't have roads to them or anything yet. But they are going to soon enough. Um, what I'm thinking, and you know what, we're going to go ahead and do this right now. Here is our road. We're gonna make this road just go straight forever until we hit stuff and we can't go any further. So that's that. It doesn't actually cost anything to build those roads. Um, it just takes a little bit of time. The stone road is the one that actually takes some uh, some time to make. Um, so we're gonna build that road. Once that road is done, we are gonna build a storage pile off of here for them to put all of their stuff on and a storage barn. And we are going to add some more, um, some more buildings, maybe a herbalist or something like that, uh, beside the other groups of buildings, and probably some houses over there, so that those people don't have to go back and forth to to, uh, to work every day. Um, because uh, yeah, travel time really is a thing in this game. The people you can actually, and I'll show you guys this right now. It's kind of pretty cool. Um, go to paths. Go to paths. I'm on paths. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pause, pause, pause the simulation. Oh, it's late winter. It just happened to melt. Okay, so we are going to come to this, and I don't know why it's not working. Oh, it is working? Okay, who lives here then? Oh, I see. Okay, so laborers, it doesn't show you where they go from like back and forth to work because they don't really have like a fixed workplace they just work wherever um so when we click on people we can see where their actual travel is this person lives right next to their work and that's ideal because they can just get up in the morning and go there this person works at the docks or at the uh the fisherman's the fisher yeah the docks i'm an idiot um this person's a builder and they're working on that construction site that's kind of an inevitable thing um Let's come up here and we'll take a look. Uh, these people work here. These people work here. We have another house. Yep, works here. So that's great. Um, I probably, since I do have at least one person, uh, where was it? Over here? Over here? Over here? Here? There? Yeah. This person is traveling all the way there and back every day, which actually significantly cuts down on their, um, their efficiency. So we are going to put a new house over here. And I think that's pretty much on the corner there. Yeah, so we're going to put that house right here. Um, and, uh, yeah. What was I saying? Hmm, I've totally lost my train of thought. Where are you, train of thought? Anyway, I suppose it doesn't matter. Um, so we're into late winter now, which means that we are going to put our laborers back to work farming. And just keep a couple of laborers. And there we go, and we are going to unpause time. I am a time lord. And um, get things going again. Hopefully, I'd like to see um, actual chestnuts coming out of this. And I think it it might vary by the actual tree that you use. Um, I think for, what is it? Cherries and peaches, I think, were the only other ones I've done before. And they usually take, I, I think it's three full years 
in game before they start actually producing food, which is cool. I mean, it's inconvenient, but it's super cool. I, I don't know. I just like the whole idea that like peppers and stuff you can plant and they will grow this year. But but trees, you can't you can't just grow trees and have them like it's a whole tree and growing fruit this year. It's not going to happen. Um, so we've got lots of resources right now, so let's go ahead and, oh, you know what? No, before we do that, it really is more important that we get, um, some stuff going on over here. And I'm sorry about the scroll speed. I don't know, it seems like it's kind of bugged for me. Like when I start scrolling, it, it has a really hard time with it, my, my computer. Um, maybe, oh, so this is a lot better. It's really about my sort of zoom distance yeah okay hmm but when I get out here it has to render in the whole thing so I can only move quite slowly um so we are going to um spend a little bit of time we're gonna put a house Actually, we can put houses, like, along here. That could be kind of neat. Where is the part that you can't build on? So there's that. Oh, and we are going to go right here like this. So those aren't going to be built for a little bit. Oh, who's working over here? Or did that tree just fall down? Sometimes trees just fall down too, more so in the winter, but it's kind of cool when it happens. Um, let's pause some of these because I don't really need all of these houses going right now. It would be actually quite detrimental to my my gaming and my uh, my town's survival. But we can get two. We can do two houses, so that'll be good. And then we can actually, since there would be no point in having houses here if uh, nobody was going to live here, we can actually do. Um, one forester lodge and a hunting cabin. So those can go. Um, now we are going to build a supply place. Sort of right in the middle. How big can it be? 10 by 10? Let's go eight by eight. Oh, come on, go. Oh, uh, nine by nine. Nope. Eight by eight by seven. Nope. Eight by eight. Perfect. A perfect little stockpile. And we are going to also build a storage barn out here. Now I I I U A W W word salad. Um. You probably know that I don't need any more storage, really. This is 63% full, and over here, we've got this one, which, oh, you know what, actually, well, scratch that, I actually do need more storage. Um, but, you know, I don't particularly need a whole ton more storage, like right now, um, but what adding this uh, stockpile and this storage barn do is allow the people who work up here at the uh, the places to bring their, excuse me, their stuff from here over to here and deposit them. And then other people, specifically the people who are going to be working at the market, which is right here, will actually take wheelbarrows, come up here, grab the stuff and cart it back to the market. And then it'll sort of be redistributed out. Um, this market is actually a really, really important tool um, for sort of uh, doing your whole, your whole settlement because um, Otherwise, you, you very much fall victim to the, uh, the sort of antics that I was talking about in the first video where um, 
some people will be starving to death and other people will have more food than they will eat in three years. It's kind of absolutely crazy. So the market really, really helps even things out like that. Um, so I think we are actually going to turn up the game speed a bit here. We don't really have any need to be, uh, to be waiting. Um, how is our cemetery coming? That is something that I'm interested in. And it's done, actually, so that's nice. It has zero out of 42 graves. Are you, are you kids? Child, child, what the heck? What are these kids doing? Are they just playing in the cemetery? I mean, I guess it's not really a cemetery yet, because if no one's buried there, I, I, I guess, but... What the heck? Why are people just coming and hanging out in the... Se oh, I bet you I know. All right, we're going to be a little bit meta here. And um, I think this is the same sort of animation as they do when it's actually full. So it sort of encourages the townspeople to go in and like see the graves and make it more kind of personal. Um, that actually makes sense. I don't see any reason why the animation would change depending on... Um, depending on whether there were graves filled or not. So th that actually makes a lot of sense. So let's get back over here and see how things are going. It looks like we actually could put a blacksmith on here again. The tailor. Is there something going on with the tailor? Alright, so we're going to go check out what's going on at the tailor because I think that there might be a problem because it doesn't seem like this is as high as it should be given how long it's been running for. Maybe he's run out of wool or something like that? No? Okay. Let's take a look. Is he having to travel really far or something? No? Okay. Alright, well, I'm just crazy. That's all it is then. How do I get rid of that? There we go. Um, now these sheep, we definitely should have some more sheep, but again, oh, I see, I keep saying that, I keep going like, we're gonna move these sheep, but the thing is, I would like to move them into pastures, sort of up here, and until we have more Forester's Lodge and stuff going on, we can't do that. Um, uh, there's just, there's no way, there's no way we can be doing that. Um, we've got tons of food, but like, uh, especially with the, you know, the forestry and the, um, the herbalist you know we can't sacrifice that sort of stuff we could get rid of the hunter's lodge because like our food situation is very much okay but either way we're gonna hold off on it a little bit how's things coming over here i don't have enough laborers um this is definitely where i was talking about before it makes a lot of sense to take all of your farmers off of farming um Take all of your farmers off of farming for the winter and have them as laborers because that's the type of job they'll be able to get done for you. Um, and then just put them on in the spring again. Oh, and how is our orchard doing? 0% yield, yeah. So we're not getting any yield yet from them. That's okay though. Oh, thank goodness they finally started using this stockpile. For the longest time they were just ignoring it for some reason and I don't know why. They were even like shoving stuff and they still got stuff all piled up in front of here. Um, there's absolutely no need for it. This tree actually needs removed. Uh -huh, let's... Mm hmm. Like that, and hopefully they will come and get rid of that tree. Let's watch. Let's watch this tree. Yeah! I would like to get this fuel limit up to a thousand, because then we wouldn't have to worry about it for a little bit. It would be quite nice. Man, oh man, look at our food. We're gonna hit our, our food cap again. It's gonna be crazy. You've got food actually just sitting out here. We need another storage barn. All right, pause, time out. We need another storage barn like now. Now, now, now. Where are we going to put it, though? Do 
Do we have room to put it up here somewhere? No, it doesn't look like it. Nope. Oh, that's only worse. What if... Nope. What if... Perfect. We're going to spread them out a little bit. Um, there are fires in this game. Uh, one of my viewers, um, if you're watching this, you will know who you are, uh, commented that there are disasters turned on. Um, and that, I believe, is one of the disasters that is toggleable that... Uh, that was mentioned was fires. Um, so basically, if your structures are built out of wood, which all of mine are, I haven't built any stone structures yet, uh, if something can catch fire and then it will spread to adjacent things, potentially, if you don't have a, or rather, regardless of if you have a well, but um, especially if you don't have one. So we are actually going to go ahead and we are going to build a well where are we going to build it? Hmm. I feel like here is a good spot. I build a well right there. And we can build another well right here just for aesthetics. They don't really cost much, so it's not we're not anything out anything rather by uh, by putting one of them. Okay, let's get things going again. We are at the food cat. Um, yeah, that is that is it, guys. I we physically cannot house any more food. I'm really hoping that villagers will come and grab a whole ton of food for their houses. Hmm, because this is urgent. We absolutely need to increase the priority on this one. Go do it. Do it. Hurry. Hurry. This is urgent. We need this done. All this stuff is going to spoil. Yeah, you can see all of these peppers are dying. There's just nowhere left to put them. Builder, 2 out of 27. What the heck? What do we need 27 builders for? Oh, maybe the paused ones don't count at, like, they still count as being, you know, functioning and needing a builder. Okay, that's reasonable. Alright, so, that is our winter. We are going to take off all of these farmers. Mm, yeah. And we are also going to turn these two fields off. We don't need those. We've got more food than we know what to do with right now, so there's not much point in that. Um, so these people are all coming over here and doing work. So let's go over here and take a look at how things are coming. So this just needs built. We can go ahead and increase our number of builders up to five. This is, um, it needs resources. So there are logs right there, I think. Oh, there were some maybe that they're getting done. This wooden house has all its resources. This wooden house is, yep, ready to build. So we just need our builders to come over here and actually finish the building and then we'll be good to go. Come on, guys, do it. Do it for me. I want to see it happen. Oh, here we go. We're building up here. So these guys are just working away, building this stuff, the forester's lodge and the hunting cabin. We are going to also put a herbalist. Not a crop field, not that, not that, not that. A gatherer's hut. Where are we here? Herbalist, there we go. So we're going to put a herbalist right on the other side of the forester's lodge. Right there, that'll be perfect. And it is early spring again, so we're going to put some farmers back on the job. 
There we go. We've got tons of laborers left. 42. Our population has increased a lot. Now, the storage barn is... Should be being worked on. Oh, I guess these, these houses were um, placed first in order. So it seems like unless you do the priority thing, they, they sort of go in order of what you queued them to do, which is good, I suppose. Um, but you need to remember to use the priority tool then, otherwise you are going to end up with uh, a lot of stuff that you don't want happening when you don't want it happening, which, you know, is a bad thing generally. Um, so that's that. We are going to need to build some roads up here. Where are our roads? Right here. Now these are not the same... Yeah, they're not exactly the same shape, so that's fine like that. Now all these houses face this way, so there's going to be a road right there. Like that. And these houses... Oh, which way do they face? Uh oh I don't know. I don't know which way they face. I don't remember. Oh, crap. We are going to have to... Maybe clear some of the trees out of here to be able to see. Or I suppose we could rotate. That would work. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so that is... Cancel removal. We'll say... Actually, you know what? Just hold off on taking those. And we are going to build a road, and it's going to go down here. Just like that. Perfect. And holy cow, this is all iron. Holy smokes. We are rolling in iron. But guys, that is going to be it for the episode. I am out of time. Um, if you really like the episode, go ahead and like the uh, go ahead and leave a like on it. There's a like button. Just just hammer it. Just go down there and hit the like button. It'll be awesome. I promise it'll be awesome. Um, so yeah, if you liked it, leave a like. And if you uh, want to see more videos like this and you want to see more of the other videos too, um, subscribe to the channel. It uh, will notify you anytime that I have new videos out and stuff like that. So you'll be sure to catch them and you won't, you won't miss any of them. Um, so anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.